What's up guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, we've got some custom tactics and player instructions for the 5-4-1 formation. But just before we get started guys, I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop the say thumbs ups, it does really help me out. It's time for shapeshifters, so if you guys need any coins, make sure you check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description, they're fast, cheap and reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a very nice 5% discount. Okay guys, so starting off with the custom tactics. For the defensive style, I like to have this on balanced. The reason we have this on balanced is because it does give you the greatest control over your defense. So when you need to press, you're able to press. And then when you want to drop off, be a little bit more passive, you are also able to do that. Now, the other settings don't really give you that freedom. They're very restricted, which is why I don't suggest them. You can use them, though, if that is what you are comfortable with. Now, moving on to the width, guys, I like to have this on 40. The reason reason for this is that we can primarily defend in a nice narrow and compact shape which will stop our opponents being able to just run right through the middle of us and pass right through us it stops leaving so many gaps basically the reason we don't want to have like the width crazy low though is because it's still important to maintain some of the natural width to cover the wider areas in case an opponent tries an attack down the wing uh, moving on to the depth guys. I like to have this on 57. This isn't really a specific number you need to use uh, I would suggest anywhere between like 55 and 65 65 obviously being the higher uh, Defensive line 55 being lower, but I kind of just settled on 57 This is because I find it to be really nice and balanced where we're not constantly getting pinned back with a super deep Defensive line and then we're not always getting destroyed by one through ball by having a super high defensive line So I do really like the balance uh, of 57 depth moving on to build up play guys i highly recommend using balance this is because it's the most controlled and varied in my opinion so with balance when you want to play slowly you're able to play slowly and then when you want to speed it up and be a bit quicker you're also able to do that so you can really pick and choose uh, which pace you want to use and when basically which the other settings do not give you for example fast build up you always have to play quickly slow build up you always have to play slowly uh, moving on to chance creation guys I suggest using direct passing this is because it's by far the most meta option in the game basically when you use direct passing your attacking players will like bunch up against the opposition defenders so you can do the very overpowered one versus one plays uh, to take on the man and create really easy chances players also make like the extra movements in the box so you can get off that extra pass to guarantee the goals instead of risking the goalkeeper saving a shot for example uh, direct passing super important in my opinion I cannot suggest it enough moving on to the attacking width guys again Again, not really a specific number you need to use but I like to have it on about 47 now the reason for this is I don't want my attack to be like crazy narrow and I also don't want it to be like too wide to the point where it feels like my players are super far apart from each other so something like 47 really works for me as I feel like it's not too narrow and it's not too wide it's just really balanced in my opinion uh, moving on to the players in the box guys I have this on five which is bang in the middle this is so we can get some players into the penalty area but we don't overcommit the entire team to the point where we're always getting counter-attacked as for the corners and free kicks guys this is down to preference but I have it on one because there is a set piece routine that I use which does require these to be on one there is a link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen now I'm just going to give you guys some suggestions on the types of players you can use it's not something you have to do of course but a lot of people ask which types of players they should be using in each position so I'm just going to give you my recommendations so for the striker I like to go for a nice well-rounded striker this is because there's only one striker in this formation and you have to compensate for the fact that there is only one of them for example in a two striker formation you could get the balance between two strikers uh, with like I don't know like a lengthy clunky player and then a, like a more creative player next to him so for example I don't know Havertz and then Haaland but in this formation you need to get all that balance in the one striker uh, 
Uh, so I would suggest like using somebody with a uh, good weak foot ability so they could shoot on either foot. Somebody that obviously has the good pace and dribbling. Somebody that can even pass to help with the build up. So I suggest a nice well rounded player uh, as it does make your attack a lot better in this formation and less predictable. Um, moving on to the right mid and the left mid guys. You can pretty much use whichever attackers you want. Uh, there's not really too many restrictions but obviously you're not going to want to use somebody that is like super slow and clunky key otherwise you might struggle to create any chances you really don't have to worry about these players defensive stats as it's really not that important so you can pretty much use whoever you want in the left mid and right mid positions now moving on to the left center mid i like to go for a more defensive minded midfielder this is somebody that is going to stay back and be as good defensively as possible to bring the security to our team now i would suggest somebody with a medium high work rate as you get the maximum contribution in defense and they're not too bothered about going forward. Uh, moving on to the right centre mid, I suggest going for a more box-to-box -box style midfielder. This is somebody that is actually going to attack and defend, so I would suggest somebody with a high, high work rate if you can get it, as you get the maximum contribution in defence and attack. So uh, you're also going to want somebody that has like a nice well-rounded card, so they are capable of doing everything. Uh, moving on to the wing backs guys you can pretty much use whoever you want but what I like to do is I like to go for like one full back in the left wing back position and then an actual winger in the right wing back position this is so we've got like one really good defensive player and then an actual attacker here because these wing backs will actually contribute on the attack so you could even go out of your way to use two actual wingers in these positions if you would like as for the three center backs and the keeper these just need to be the full meta players there's not too much to say about them now moving on to the player instructions guys on the striker i like to have him on stay central and mixed attack we have him on stay central because we really don't need him to like drift off into the wider areas here's our striker so it does make sense that we always keep him in the middle uh, so that is why we have him on stay central and i also have him on mixed attack as opposed to getting behind as i feel like you get a lot more out of the striker in this formation that way if you put him on get in behind he's always going to make the same predictable one dimensional runs uh, and it might be difficult to attack at times but when you put him on mixed attack uh, he can get more involved in the build-up and attacking just becomes a bit more free-flowing in my opinion um, moving on to the right mid and the left mid we have them on comeback on defense cut inside and getting behind we have them on comeback on defense so that it ensures that they do keep the correct position when we don't have the ball uh, these players can get a little bit lazy if you have them on basic defensive support so this is just to ensure that they do keep the correct position uh, when we don't have the ball we also have them on cut inside so they do look to get into those narrow areas to really bother your opponent and help out the striker if these players stay too wide your striker does not have a lot of support which can make it difficult to attack you'll also see how we like compromise with this with the fullbacks as well but we'll get to that in a moment uh, we also have these players on getting behind so they're always looking to make those runs uh, because these players can be quite, quite static if you have them on balanced support they don't really move around all that much so putting them on getting behind really does push them up the field uh, moving on to the left center mid the more defensive player we have him on stay back and cover center we have him on stay back because we don't want him going forward and then we have him on cover center so he does defend those central areas uh, for the right center mid the more box to box player we have him on the default settings and cover center default settings because we don't really want to restrict this player all that much the only important thing is that we do, do have him on cover center so he does cover those central areas now moving on to both the wing backs, we have them on join the attack and overlap. The wing backs are going to be the players that provide the most width in the team because they're going to make the overlapping runs to always give you a wide option. The join the attack instruction means they're always going to join the attack for us. Um, now this works because we do have these left mid and right mid players on cut inside, which means these players are going to be running into the more narrow areas, which means when we have these on join the attack and overlap, when the left mid and right mid are running into to the narrow spaces these wing backs are going to be overlapping them to add extra width so we have players in both the narrow areas and the wide areas making this formation super useful um, as for the three center backs in the keeper these are on the default settings and I do not touch them but yeah guys they're my custom tactics and player instructions for the 541 if you have enjoyed or found it useful please be sure to drop us a thumbs up sub to the channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on notifications and with all that aside guys hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you all in the next one.